Hey guys, thanks for stopping to check out another video inventory update. We literally just finished unpacking uh, fresh and saltwater shipments. We're going to start off taking a look at some of the new saltwater animals. Here we've got some uh, nice Linkia stars hanging up in the corner there. Uh, I got two of those guys in. There's another orange one there. Very cool animals, uh, great for reef tanks. I uh, also have a fire shrimp here, um, great bottom feeder, and a uh, really nice specimen. He's a little, being a little shy, but they're a bright red, flame red color. Very cool fit, uh, animal. Also got in really neat uh, sea apple. This is uh, similar to like a sea slug uh, or sea cucumber family. Um, these guys are a filter feeder. Uh, they're beautiful when they open up. They actually almost like have a flower-like uh, opening. Look this one up. It's pretty cool. Let's stop by and check it out. Um, very unique animal and one you don't see very often. Up here we've got a uh, very nice uh, sexy shrimp there. Uh, also call it anemone glass shrimp. They like to hang out in tentacles of anemones. Some nice cleaner shrimp here. Excellent for picking parasites and doing a really good job of keeping the tank clean. Also got some lettuce nudibranx. Excellent uh, hair algae control. Uh, do a great job in the reef tank as well. And in the fish department, here we got a, a gold stripe maroon clown. Um, there's a nice, uh, oh, you just went behind the coral, uh, orange shoulder tang, one you don't see very often on a Hawaii. Very cool fish. Um, a nasal tang, a medium large nasal tang hanging out back there as well. Great for a fish only or a reef tanks and a four spot butterfly. Here we got a real nice uh, raccoon butterfly, uh, about uh, four or five inches on this guy, about four inches. Real nice uh, community fish, does excellent uh, with most other fish, not recommended for a reef tank. And also hanging up down there is a nice Karan angel, juvenile coloration on him, um, about, also about three, you know, three to four inches on that guy. Here we got a very cool orange tail uh, Valentini puffer, one you don't see very often, pretty rare species. Um, this guy's about three inches, a uh, little bit on the aggressive side, you want to be a little bit careful to keep him with, but does well usually in most community tanks. Also a Niger trigger um, hanging out underneath there. Uh, up here we've got a uh, nice yellow eye coal tang and an Ariga butterfly. Coal tang excellent at nuisance algae control and Ariga butterfly another great uh, community fish. This tank we've got a blue throw, oh, he wants to be shy and hang out on the rocks. Really nice uh, large blue throw trigger, um, about hand size on this guy, beautiful fish and uh, not one you see very often, he's gonna wanna be, well, I won't coax him out. Sorry, he's stressed out. Um, very cool animal and does well in a more uh, aggressive community tank. Uh, up here we got a nice uh, medium sized coral beauty angel fish there. Another good uh, community fish. Here we got some nice Hawaiian yellow tangs, also a beautiful uh, Fiji bicolor angel. Dwarf angel variety, they only get about four inches when they're full grown and a nice uh, neon velvet damsel. Here, a nice vagabond butterfly, very nice uh, variety of the, uh, butterfly fish. These guys are also good for the community tank and a beautiful uh, powder brown tank, nice medium size on that guy, medium large on him. Um, another neon velvet there. Here we got another nasal tank, some nice cleaner wrasses, another good uh, parasite control animal. Undulated trigger down here, a little bit more nasty, you gotta be careful what you keep these guys with, but a very uh, impressive fish. Um, it does well in uh, moderately sized aquariums. Here we've got some beautiful uh, firefish gobies, some other good reef uh, or nano tank inhabitant. They're a nice uh, small blue tang there. Some beautiful Bangai cardinals, another good reef tank or nano fish. And a uh, lineatus or clown uh, tang. Great algae control as well and does well in a reef tank or fish only aquariums. Up here we got some nice large uh, green chromis. Uh, great community fish, does pretty well um, in newer tanks as well. Another uh, uh, damsel there and a uh, pygmy angel, Atlantic pygmy angel. And this tank we've got, oh, he's gonna wanna, there's a green bird wrasse, but he's gonna wanna hang out. Yeah, I don't see him underneath the sand, unfortunately. Nice fish, about four or five inches on that guy. Um, here we've got some Klein's butterflies, excellent for uh, taking care of Aptasia problems in a reef aquarium. And a nice uh, smaller black and white honey opus. And up here, a nice uh, copper banded butterfly, another good community fish. Uh, and does excellent in uh, fish only tanks with live rock. They like to pick at the crevices and holes in the rock and get some food out. And that is it for the fish over in the invertebrate section. We do have a couple fish over here. He's got a really cool rare um, red dragonette scooter. Um, it's a variety you hardly ever see with the red color on him. There's also a mandarin goby, but he's probably hanging out in the rocks here. Oh, there he is, spotted mandarin there, um, down on the bottom, and also the flame angel, beautiful flame angel. Also some nice uh, Hawaiian feather dusters here. And over here, we did get some, you know, I'll show you from the other side, the anemones there. Nice selection of uh, corals. We got several uh, types of 
uh, polyp rocks and uh, mushroom rocks here. And we'll step over and take a look. Also some nice frags that came in. We got some Duncans, um, some nice zoo pollen and polyps and uh, a couple nice uh, green star polyps there. And over here is a nice green long tentacle anemone and a couple of uh, condylactus anemones. It's a little bit hard to see the good shot here, but beautiful animals and does great in a little bit more established aquariums. All right, let's go take a look at the fresh water. Several nice uh, new freshwater additions here in the 95 wave. We've got some beautiful uh, electric blue uh, caras, a uh, variety you don't see very often. Nice uh, semi aggressive uh, cichlid, also some fire mouths and some nice red jewel cichlids. Like I said, we just unpacked these guys so they're not quite colored up yet, but uh, stop by tomorrow and uh, they'll start to show some beautiful red color. Over here, we got some nice blue rams, large blue rams in. Uh, moving up, we've got Bosmani and Turquoise Rainbows, great uh, community fish and does excellent in live planted aquariums as well. Some really cute uh, mono sea bays. These are uh, freshwater, truly freshwater varieties. These guys have been raised in freshwater and uh, very cool fish. They get about uh, three, four inches when they're full grown. Um, generally non aggressive and do well in most community aquariums. Some beautiful, nice uh, Wisconsin raised uh, medium assorted angels. Got a couple tanks of those guys. Here we've got some beautiful tricolored koi swords. Uh, th these ones, this nice, you don't see very often. Some great colors on these guys, and a really nice selection. Beautiful fish. Some more of those angels there. Here we got some nice uh, pink kissers, uh, smaller pink kissing garamis. Uh, these are the ones that like to pucker up and kind of look like they're kissing each other. Very popular community fish, and also some nice larger uh, rainbow sharks. Great bottom feeders there. Some beautiful pineapple swords. Nice zebra daniels, excellent uh, starter fish, and does well in smaller nano type aquariums as well. And some really nice, cute uh, panda quarry cats. These guys do well in uh, planted or uh, fish only aquariums. Great bottom feeder. Some nice uh, high fin serpe tetras here. Some more of those panda quarries there. Great starter fish, does really well. Very hardy. Um, here we've got some brilliant rasporas, uh, another variety you don't see very often. Very cool fish, and get some nice color on them. Oh, I missed the gars. Also got some nice Florida gars here. Nice big uh, Florida gars. Excellent for uh, a little bit more aggressive aquariums. These will fit whatever they can fit in their mouth, and you'd be surprised how big that mouth gets. It does great with uh, cichlids, non-aggressive, um, as long as they can't even. Here we got some cool uh, dwarf uh, nanacara. These are a um, golden dwarf nanacara. These are a, a cichlid variety, a dwarf cichlid variety. Also some really nice electric blue Jack Dempsey's here. Cichlid tanks here. We did get some nice large, uh, hiding out in the corners, large uh, red tail sharks. Uh, another nice uh, bottom feeder. Does well in most semi aggressive community aquariums. Some nice uh, smaller assorted angels here. Here we've got African tetras, a uh, pretty rare variety as well. Cool fish. Um, get some nice coloration on them. And uh, these guys are about uh, two inches or so body size right now. Platinum garamis, uh, people have been asking for these. Nice, similar to the golds, but a little bit more uh, white color. Very cool fish, and they get about four or five inches when they're full grown. Another good community fish. And I think that's all here, just the 125 here. Here we've got some blue convict cichlids, uh, some more uh, jewel cichlids in here. And Yep, I think that was it in this tank, and now we just got some uh, Africans, some beautiful Africans to show you. We've got some, I'm going to say this wrong, I know I am, Mimbipia lutea. Um, these are a uh, Victorian, I believe. These are a nice uh, medium-sized cichlid. Also some rock carbenzis in there. So the guys are starting to show the lines on the backs there. Very cool fish. Uh, here we got half more eyes, uh, ACIs, and Chipokis. Uh, electric blue johannes down here, which are juveniles, so they're just showing the yellow, but these guys, when the males will turn blue, as they get bigger, the females will stay that yellow color. Uh, regal blue peacocks, so medium-sized regal blue peacocks, and Alanacara swallowtails, another uh, peacock variety. Here we've got some regal blue peacocks, also uh, medium-sized in these guys, just starting to uh, color up. 
here we got some more these beautiful red top hongis. Um, see the nice yellow, yellow red coloration on the top there. Cool fish. Um, these guys are about four inches. Got a couple of those in, as well as another couple of yellow rock, yellow blaze Z rock caps. Uh, those are the yellow, blue with the yellow stripe on the tops there. And then uh, Taiwan reefs, which get gorgeous when they get a little bit bigger. We got some pictures in here to take a look at. All right, guys, thanks for stopping and take a look. If there's anything you like, give us a call 414-546-2201. We'd be happy to put on hold for you. Have a great day.